yeah. so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a tag that's a tag that I think the majority of the people will recognize. But yeah. oh well, that's it's taken by a, one of a female smashes if I'm if I'm not mistaken. I do recall it's not the same spelling though. It's not the same spelling. No, her vans is with an S. Oh, this okay. is with an S. Oh, it looks like Sloth might be playing against Sun. Yeah, probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. But what's going on, everybody? Hope y'all been enjoying yourselves here at uh, another classic Tuesday Nets. Mm -hmm. I usually don't hop on commentary, you know, but uh, just want to chill out. Yeah, we definitely chilling here with a lot, of, with a decent amount of entrance today. Yeah. Uh, especially with a uh, couple hard hitters, Slox, Smucks, Hax Mula. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Vans here. <laughs> but yeah, he 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 playing Hearthstone right now. Yeah, he's like, I know I don't I don't want to play melee, but UCF, I want to try that out. Definitely trying it. Yeah, out. Yeah, Jaden's favorite game in the whole world is melee, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> he loves playing melee. Especially with the addition of UCF, he just couldn't resist the urge to <laughs> enter singles and play. <laughs> But uh, uh, also, yeah, we're waiting for Slox's opponent. Mm -hmm. As we are in, uh, this is, the, I believe, the first match of top eight. This is winner semis. Uh huh. Best of five, the cinco. And I actually need water because I feel like my throat is actually dying. So I'm going to be right back, stepping out. Oh, what up, Cody? Uh, any good sets? Uh, the best set so far was you not being here. So, uh, where you at, man? Where you at? <laughs> you tight? Oh, tell him for the LSATs. That's the, what's the LSAT again? The the loser's standardized assessment test? <laughs> Alright, so we got my man Sam on back. Uh, I'm back. With my throat dying because yeah. of the water. I need water, but. Yeah, we got, uh. Cody in the chat. Yo, Cody, yeah. fuck out. Yeah, he's uh, studying right now for his uh, LSA, LSATs. Yeah, the, or so, the LSAT, yeah, which so is like probably a nightmare. So, But like it won't be a nightmare compared to the bar exam, though. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, good luck, man. Good luck. I hope to see you. I hope to see you soon, though. Wait, Jaden actually entered the tournament? Really? I, yeah, he did because he loves melee. Oh, I didn't even know. Yeah, <laughs> he loved melee. He wanted to try out that uh, that UCF. Uh, wanted to like check things out about it, but yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, looks like someone's a biker. After that, Elsa, I'm back in action. All right, man, hurry up, man. Hurry up. Yeah, you're, you're now. Now it's even worse than ever because if you lose to me, you lost to a commentator. So. You can't let it happen, man. Not, not, it's now or never. <laughs> but then if you beat me, I'm just a commentator, man. Like, <laughs> I don't play. You do play teams, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Flock Sun, both uh, starting with the letter S. So basically, basically S tier. The S tier players, as one would say. But oh, what up, Pastry? Ooh, a little Paste. That's the future of Melee is low pastry, man. Yep, and they're starting on Dreams. All right, so here we go. <laughs> All right, Slot's probably going to be using the platform as much as possible with the running shines. A really great splitter. Yep. Ooh, Ooh. just like that. And I love the option of the get-up attack mm -hmm. to prevent Sun the from up being and saving Nana. Yeah, definitely interrupting the up B sequence, not allowing Nana to come back, especially with the hit confirm yeah. that Nana has for some reason. I don't know why. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, yeah, that was a good slight DI right there from Slox. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's quick. 
<laughs> that was like the angriest up smash. <laughs> He's like, man, I fought a, I fought a nice cover and I gotta fight another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then, son is like, bruh. Yep, like, I got, like I got them kicks too. I'm gonna pound your meat and, and ship it to Whole Foods. Uh, yeah. So that's probably a start. Even Stevens. Even Steves. Uh huh. And Slog's probably gonna be, yeah, doing a lot of running shot. Looks like he's gonna go for a lot of running shot just to uh, split him up and at once. Oh, oh my and, and god! No mash out too, because he was at super low percent. But great recognition right there, because he knowing that Slox is on the platform, he usually likes to go for shield drops. So he saw it. Oh, up air, mm -hmm. auto grab right there, my man. Yeah, I wonder if Slox gonna start, uh, kind of start thinking about shield dropping in platforms, especially when the ice cameras are really underneath. Because I don't think there's really a way that Spox can challenge the up tilt or the up air of the ice climbers. No. So instead of challenging it, yeah, it's better just to stay safe, man. Yep. Uh, shoot lasers. Bye. Oh. He's getting a, l a little bit too many, too much mileage right there with those uh, affairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. wow, okay. Uh, oh, that air dodge, I think it was a little bit questionable in that situation, I feel uh, like. Oh, yeah, I don't agree with those up smashes. Looking a little bit like Mewtwo King, just kind of throwing them out. Yeah. Because it, it's not safe on shield, even versus Icy's, and then they'll start tech chasing you to death, so yeah, you gotta watch out for that. All it takes is a bad DI down smash, and you're probably gonna be done those. Yep. Okay, waits for the jump out. Oh, oh, Nana to the rescue, but great uh, DI away right there from yeah. Slox. DI away, that's act the down throw down air is actually not true as long as you know how to correctly DI it. But as right there, Nana loses the stock. Let's see if that's going to be a, a potential stock for Slox. Yep. Doing a lot of spacing aerials. Ooh, he caught the jump. That was a really good upper. Looking like this kid right here. Yep. That's crazy. Okay, good stuff by Slox. You know, just recognizing. I right, I know that oh. Ice Climbers has a good uh, wave land from the uh, from the ledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Slox kind of just runs up a smash like how you said, Mewtwo King style. Yep. Which is, uh, I'm actually more worried in the percentage like this. All it takes is a bad Ooh, down smash. But oh my God! Wow, and he still sign, sweet sign, peace. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, wow, that, nice. that was smart yeah, right just there. Just like that's that. It. And see, that's the thing, right? Because usually pro ICs like Chuda and like Nintendoods, they wouldn't put themselves in that risk situation because it's just going to be back and forth over and over. And then you're probably going to be taking damage or Nana's just taking a, a serious amount of damage. You could be in a bad predicament. Yeah. Just kind of like trust your 1v1 with Sopo. I know it's, it's like a very losing battle but as i say that yeah it's looking like a winning battle right here so far for yeah. son if he doesn't drop this as looks like he's gonna take the first stock yeah i guess the first time advantage to say like this but that it made it totally makes sense because like there's some ice commerce players who i feel like they can only win with wobbling and that's one thing that's a little bit unfortunate because i would like to see sopo actually start stepping things up but if you're going to rely too much on the wobbling, that's where you're you kind of just showing your opponent that I just need wobbling to win. But if I have Sopo, yeah. my skills are, of Sopo are probably oh worse. Oh, my God. But and, uh, you know, Slock's just not playing safe enough as he's getting uh, caught with these uh, peculiar grabs. Yeah. yeah. Slock's right there should just start. Just, which I would say just restart neutral and just not let Ice Cameras just get away with the under-platform things that Chu sometimes go for against Mango. Yeah. And uh, Sun is doing exactly that, but right now it could be an opportunity to see if Stoss can he, uh, hopefully take a stock and try to see if he can, hit, take, he yep. can take the next stock so that he can even things up. Yeah, Slox just <laughs> keeping it simple with these kicks. Mm -hmm. Rinse and repeat, <laughs> clean and clears. But right now, running shines again. Gets Ooh. a shine right there. That was a clutch shine because I feel like Slox could have done something else and yep. it would have been grabbed, but... Yeah, he's getting caught with a little bit uh, too much. Oh, and he read the DI. Yo, that was amazing. A little mix-up. Yo, Sun. Uh-huh. Sun is getting that grab. It's going to be an advantage for Sun this time. Now he now he can afford trades. See, what I want to see from Slox, right? Because, you know, he has a 3-1 to deficit. He could definitely still, like, you know, bring this back. <laughs> and he's still getting caught by the get-up attacks. Yeah. But there's not much Icy's could do in that situation uh, to try to save Nana. But um, I want to see, you know, Slox go... You know, use the platforms more and, and you know, just bait out a lot of these up tilts uh -huh. uh, that he's getting caught by. He's getting, and like force Icy's to try to come at you and jump. I mean, now Sun, if, if Sun really wants to, he could just like just chill in the back. But he, he's just fighting, man. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, no, that was unfortunate. Oh, oh man, nine, she almost came right back. Too. Yeah, and right there, uh, I don't agree with some of the options that Sun has been doing. I would rather just go for, like, hard trades, get the percentage up to avoid any cross-castle situation, which Sloss kind of relies a little bit a lot. Yeah. And, but right now, opportunity. Oh. Oh, oh no, no, misses the airdrop right there. I think he wanted to grab the ledge and then maybe roll up or yeah, something. Yeah, because uh, Isis could definitely back air and re-grab ledge, but he went a little bit too far there, mm -hmm. and he couldn't re-grab the ledge, unfortunately. Yeah, catches the jump right there. Oh, Tries I to go for the oh, wobble that, right there. But that could have been it after that get-up attack, actually. Mm -hmm. See, now this is the tricky part with, that, with the platform. It's so low. Yeah. It, oh, no, and another SD from Sun. After a three stock to one lead, Wow. But in that situation when uh, the platforms are really low, it's hard for uh it's hard for certain characters like ice climbers to try to like, you know, put up an offense. So Slack saw that opportunity where the platform was kinda messing him up and both Icy's weren't on the ground. One was on the platform, one was on the ground, and he just kept, you know, bear, bear, bearing, bearing. Yeah. Alright, so you know, he reserved this stage. Oh, uh, for now? Let's no, see I think happens. there was a little bit of a confusion because they thought it was best of, best of three, so I think Slogs actually banned FD. They were kind of discussing it because yeah. they were going to handshake after that match. Okay. So I guess that kind of messed up. But anyways. Oh, wow. That was a little... Okay. Ooh. Is that yeah, it? Just like that. Oh, Ooh, and God. the kicks. Man, one good kick for good measure. Uh, All right. Now, see, this is the thing with Ice Climbers on the stage, right? Uh-huh. It's like... Foxes usually are going to try to jump over you or they're going to just run at you with running shine. So to stop them from the running shine, you shoot some ice blocks, shoot like just one. Because if you just start shooting alternate, uh -huh. then you end up getting stuck and then Fox could just like jump over you and then yeah. continue the neutral. Oh man, but he went a little bit too low, but yeah. he'll take the stock over, you know, saving Nana. Yeah. Right so let's see. But we'll have to see what he's going to be able to do. Get oh, that's a nice mix up. With the shine. Yep. Yeah, there's nothing that Ice Climbers could do there. Once they have to do that helicopter, <laughs> which is the side B. Yeah, side B, all you got to do is just wait. Yeah, see? He stopped them from doing the running shine with a nice block. Uh-huh. Yeah. But now Slots can be a little bit more wary because he can use the space of FD to maybe dash chance to just run around outside of the wow. ice blocks. And right there, immediately clipping the song against Nana. That's quick. Yeah, he, he's just uh, making quick work of Nana. He's like, yeah, I'm not having any of this. And that was an amazing shine. Mm -hmm. But Sun okay. barely makes it back, but he's taking just so much damage. And yeah, that's yeah. right. Similar percent from one of the previous stocks that uh, Sun lost, around 80, 45 percent. Well, you got to be careful. That's the icicles right now, but that blizzard, Slox knows that is not an approachable one. It just yep. stands back. But Oh, down throw tech chase. Oh, waiting oh. For, uh, and I like that. You know, he went for the down throw, went mm -hmm. for the tech chase. You know, to make sure that Nana reunites with him. Uh -huh. So then when he gets the grab, he could uh, start to wobble. Yeah. But we'll see if uh, someone will be able to uh, get some get some couple stocks going in. Because he will need as many stocks as possible oh, against the Palibur. So but yeah, no fast fall, no shuffle. Oh, by no. Uh, he actually could have just uh, up tilted that or almost any attack, actually. And, and Nana's still living, but... He go, go, yeah, he yeah. just goes for the upper and makes quick work. And... It's looking like little curtains right here. The option coverage and up smash, and there it goes. Slox wins 3-0 over Sun to yeah. advance to winner's finals. Yep. One thing I uh, one thing I would like to see Sun do is like when when I uh, when I played a couple matches with some of the ice cameras.